It was in Mississippi where I recall having had the most shocking experience of my childhood. If I recall, I was about uh, nine years old, and um, I uh, was spending the summer with my grandparents who owned their own farm, and we had a weekend ritual. After um, having worked from sunup until sundown, six days a week on Saturday evening, my grandfather and grandmother would put the grandchildren in the back of the pickup truck and we would go to town, we called it. The only thing that the town of Duncan, Mississippi had to offer was the railroad track that came down through the center of it. And there was a pharmacy on the east side and on the west side there was a um, dry goods store and a grocery store. That was town. But it was exciting for us because we were on a farm for the rest of the week. And my grandfather and I had a very special relationship. And I knew that he loved root beer flavored lifesavers. And so while my grandmother shopped in the back of the dry goods store, Brown's dry goods store, I went to the soda fountain in the front of the dry goods store and I asked for a package of root beer flavored lifesavers. And the lady who waited on me was an elderly white woman. And she proceeded to make a root beer flavored shake or soda of some kind. And of course she put it on the counter and explained to me what the price of it was. And I was a little bit confused because I knew what I had ordered. And I said, no ma'am, um, I ordered a package of root beer flavored lifesavers. And she disputed me. She said, no, you didn't. You ordered um, this root beer flavored shake. I said, no, I didn't. I, I didn't order a shake. I ordered root beer flavored lifesavers. And apparently I said it in a way that she didn't appreciate because I remember her having said to me very clearly, you need to talk to me like I'm a white woman. And of course I had never heard anybody say that before, certainly not to me. I uh, had begun to argue with her because I knew that I was right. And I wasn't about to pay for something that I had not ordered. My grandmother was a very mild, uh, soft-spoken um, angelic person and she heard what was going on she had overheard the conversation and so she came to the front to the soda fountain and she asked the lady how much the shake was and she paid for it I was devastated absolutely devastated because what had happened was wrong I could not understand why my grandmother wouldn't at least inquire uh, and try to make sense out of my encounter with the, the lady who was working behind the counter. It took me a few days to, um, to deal with that situation. And I asked my grandmother repeatedly, why would you do this? I know what I asked for. Why did we pay for something that I didn't order? Uh, why did she say that to me? I didn't understand. And so she just said, you know, this is the way things are. And sometimes you just have to, um, you know, accept things as they are in order to keep the peace. As old as I am now, I, you know, I, it is as though I lived it yesterday. It, it, I shall never forget it. Uh, it. And it became very apparent to me at that point that there were many differences, that discrimination was very real, that there was this thing called racism, that segregation was painful.